Okay, I've been waiting to do this for quite some time. I just didn't know the direction that I was going to take. I think it's time to upgrade this Elite Desk to Windows 11. But how are we gonna do that? Well, how about Flyby 11? I have a fresh backup of the drive. I think it's time to do an upgrade. This is what's next. Okay, let's go to GitHub and we're gonna go with Flyby 11. That's the software I'm gonna to use to get to Windows 11 on my unsupported mini PC. Current version 2.5 at the time of recording. All right, once you click that link, uh, you're gonna to scroll to the bottom of the page and you're gonna see assets and you wanna select flyby11.zip. So that'll download. Let me go ahead and select that. And these are the contents. In order to get to the contents, we need to extract it. And it should default to my downloads folder, which it does. And then once it's extracted, I'm gonna to go to downloads and there's the folder. Now I did do a test to see on viruses. And here we have Netgear Armor. That's what comes with my wireless network. And there you go. I don't see any issues with that. All right, back to our Flyby 11. I'm gonna right click that and run it as administrator and you will get a warning. Windows protected your PC. Just go ahead and click more info and run anyway. I'm gonna take a moment. I get this uh, prompt. I know it comes up, there it is. And here it is, the compatibility check and I am green. So I can go ahead and start the upgrade now. Now there are definitely some steps here what you want to do is you want to click download via FIDO, which is recommended. That is the way I'm going to do it in demo in this video. So it's going to ask what version of Windows, it's Windows 11, that's what I want. There are other options. So select 11 and click continue. Then there's the releases. This is the only one available. Click continue again. And it's the home pro and education selection. That's what I want. Click continue. This takes a moment. I think it's the language is what's coming up next. And this is highly important because you wanna select the language that is currently installed on your Windows 10. And mine is English United States. And just to verify those prior two selections, if we go to properties, you can see, see uh, under the about, uh, if I scroll down further, Here's Windows 10 Pro. So that is the version of Windows I'm currently running on this HP Elite Desk. And then I'm gonna select language and you're gonna see that I am running English United States. This is important when we get to it later in the process. This is gonna allow me to keep all my files uh, and do an upgrade. And we're clicking continue again. And now we're going to see two options. This is related to what version of Windows we want to download. The one that's compatible with the X64 architecture or an ARM. I'm running X64, so that will be my selection. And then I'm going to click download. And depending on your internet connection, this could take a few moments. This took about four to five minutes for me. And once it gets downloaded, you can go ahead and you can access the file and again in my case this went to the downloads folder so we've done all the preliminary steps let's get this installed now that we have the windows 11 iso file downloaded i'm going to go ahead and we're just going to select this from the computer under downloads and there is windows 11 that we've already downloaded All right, so we're getting everything prepped. It looks like we're going. So we're now you're going to see this install Windows server. That is what we've downloaded. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. It's gonna check for some updates. All right, there is our licensing. I'm gonna click accept. And this is what sold me on fly by 11 keep files settings and apps because we selected the right language um, and the, the same versioning of the software windows 10 pro to windows 11 pro so i'm going to go ahead and click next that is going to save me 
a ton of time. And again, with all the research that I've done, fly by 11 is what sold me on that feature alone. So let's see if this thing works. I don't even have a clue. Okay, we got done with the updates, making sure you're ready to install. It's going to do some more checking here. We're on to the next step, making sure your PC has enough space. We are going to install Windows 11 Pro. We're keeping files, settings, and apps. Let's do it. Install. All right, this is going to take a while. We'll check back in a few moments after a couple restarts, and we're going to see if this was successful. Well, looky here. We got this booted up into Windows 11. As you can see, this is the start menu and the fans have been running. And I apologize that my original mic uh, was not recorded during this segment. So I'm ad libbing at this point. You can see here we're uh, launching calculator that worked. Uh, let's go into uh, Microsoft Edge and we're gonna go straight to YouTube. And we're just going to see how well does this load. That's that's the big thing, right? You know, what what degradation am I going to see um, by upgrading to this Windows 11 that's not supported on this particular PC? And overall, I mean, it's loading stuff like I thought it would. I mean, this doesn't feel any slower uh, compared to what I was running in Windows 10 Pro. So, I mean, right now, I think it's, I think it's fine. Um, I've been using this computer, obviously, since I've done this video. And um, I'm actually recording this audio on this Windows 11 box now. And again, I'm not seeing too much degradation. Here I'm playing a 1080p video and looks fine to me. All right, let's hop into Photoshop. And we're just going to test the loading. Not really going to do any Photoshop work, but I'm really just trying to see, you know, it, again, speed degradation. Am I seeing much speed difference? Now, of course, this is the first time I'm launching Photoshop CS5 in Windows 11, and it was a little slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and I'm going to click it again, and you're going to notice that the load time is much faster the second time. That loaded pretty quick. And again, I can do my basic Photoshop work on here. I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, so we ran the Geekbench numbers, and you can see here with the uh, Windows 11, we had 1059 compared to 1068 under Windows 10, and 3429 multi-core score uh, compared to 3535 on Windows 10. So pretty decent, a little bit slower, but overall, um, not bad. Let's uh, try the graphics test. You can see here with the results for Windows 11, OpenCL it was 15686. And then the Vulkan scores here were 17350, 17186. That was all Windows 10. Now, I did notice that the Vulkan score under Windows 11 was 9203. So I'm not sure what happened there, but OpenCL is doing about what the Vulcan score was prior to this. So, all right, that's our results for Geekbench. You know, we're running the Classic Cube 1.3.7. Seems to be working pretty good. About, uh, looks like around 60. Games are working. Here we are, um, scrubbing through the video. These are all screen captures that I got with Camtasia. Seems to be doing pretty good. Here's the system Windows information. We have 11 Pro running, and that is the desktop Elite Desk 705G4. All right, so we have Windows 11 running on this PC. Let's send it back to the studio for my final thoughts. All right, let's be honest. I spent more time upgrading old Macs to current Apple OSs for a while on this channel. So it's not surprising that I would attempt something like this with one of my outdated PCs, as this was my first attempt at this process. I would say that it was a success. Maybe you agree. My first goal was to attempt an upgrade to Windows 11 on my HP Elite Desk 705 G4, and that's a check. 
My second goal was to update the current Windows 10 installation without losing any existing programs and files. That was also a check. My last goal was to edit this video on said upgraded HP Elite Desk PC. That also is a check. And to confirm that last goal, let's check in with me. Hey, how's it going with the edit? Oh, hi there, past me. It's going very well. Uh, I'm using the most recent version of Camtasia 2024 to edit today's video, and I haven't noticed too many issues outside of some audio stuttering, probably due to 4K video that I'm editing and some effects that I added. Uh, my only complaint is the fan noise again, but it's not any worse when this PC was running Windows 10. Okay, well, thanks for that information, future self. Now, is this upgrade for everyone? Not particularly. Obviously, there's the licensing thing with Microsoft, which gets into a bit of a gray area, and there's no guarantee that this will continue to work so there's a risk, a security risk there in long term. In short, if you like to tinker, I say, yeah, go for it. What do you got to lose? Just make sure you back up. But if you have a PC that isn't officially supported by Windows 11, then you really only have three options. You can purchase a more current PC that is supported by Windows 11. You can continue using the PC with Windows 10 that you have and you have the security risk issue or considering upgrading to a Linux OS. Wait a minute, did you just hint at a future episode? <laughs> I think I did. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. To stay current on future episodes, click the subscribe and bell notification icons. Feel free to watch one of my other videos either here or here. And until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next?